两千年前，第一批波利尼西亚人乘着独木舟破浪而至，在此定居，为这片岛屿取名为夏威夷，意思是原始之家。它拥有地球上十三种气候中的十一种，更因为孤立于太平洋的中心，造就了独一无二的生态系。但当十八世纪英国库克船长踏上这片土地之后，从未存在天敌的原有生态就此失去平衡而消失灭绝。尽管夏威夷的面积不到美国本土的百分之一，但是在全美灭绝物种名单里，却高达百分之七十五都是夏威夷独有的物种。夏威夷被冠上美国的灭绝之都。山谷，山岚缭绕，犹如世外仙境，难以相信，在几年前，这里曾经是座勒索山。Where we're standing was a place where people could back up their trucks and dump their rubbish. Everything from、um, from regular rubbish to、uh, cars and refrigerators and、uh, pieces of. Puello 和几个当地年轻人，从二零零四年开始，花了好几年的时间，清理这片广达六十七公亩的山谷，创办了唤醒自然教育计划，教导学生认识环境，不但要找回原有生态的自然纯净，更要唤起夏威夷人对传统智慧的自我觉醒。All things natural. Yeah. This plant is called noni. You can eat the fruit, and some people use it for medicine for、um, for cancer. This is the、um, key or tea.、Um, everybody needed this plant before. So the root is very big. Steam it, and it's like sugar. Okay. And before to make your hair pretty,、uh -huh. they took, put that juice in your hair, and it makes it like gel, like <laughs> hairspray. This leaf, heat, heat will go from、um, from this side, this way. The heat. So if I have fever, yeah, I put this side next to my forehead, and then the heat come out this、oh. way. Yeah. But that's because this side has wax, yeah, oil.、Mm. This is called kukui. In English, it's called candle nut because inside the fruit is a nut,、uh -huh. very oily.、Oh, okay. So you can light it like candle.、Um, you will see the juice come out.、Uh -huh. That is when it comes out like this. It's called kohu. Then any time I cut or bite my tongue. Uh -huh. Or have、um, throat infection? Yeah. You take this, so I see it's coming. You take that and you have pala inside, and、oh. that's called the medicine is called kulu kulu e. Kulu kulu e. Mhm. So you can taste it, yeah. Yeah. Maybe like a vitamin B. Maybe. Yeah. Try. Very bitter. Mu'e. <laughs> Mu'e. Mu This is called olena. Olena. It's a canoe plant. Is another canoe plant. This is the awapuhi kohiwi, ginger. Over here, I show you the flower over here.、Okay. So inside is this flower. Oh, red one. Mm-hmm. And then when we squeeze it, squeeze it. Um. Oh, a lot of the juice. Yes, and then it's uh you use for shampoo. Go ahead. Oh, shampoo. Uh huh. And smell it. 好像黏黏的，他说像洗发精一样。It's a very clean. Yeah. It's, it's good for good for your skin.、Um, skin or for hair? Both. Yeah. Both. But everybody uses for they call shampoo ginger now. 我真的可以洗干净。这些在一千多年前由波利尼西亚祖先引进到夏威夷栽种的独木舟植物种。全被妥善保存下来，如今更要扩大传递与守护。People have farmed here for about 1,000 years. Here they have farmed here, 
So they didn't waste the land, they didn't ruin the land for 1,000 years. Western science is not humble. Western science, we know everything, but they ruin everything. They ruin the land. That doesn't um, honor the, the knowledge of our ancestors. And so what we want to do with this place is to um, use place-based knowledge and put it back into the community. That way our children will be able to make to solve the problems tomorrow. 仰赖自然农法,创造有机生态环境,还包括下游的鱼塘。When the water flows in, the adult fish that are in the pond, they try to swim out. Uh -huh. So that's when we can catch them. Oh. See how there's little gaps like yeah. that? The babies can fit through. Okay. They swim inside the pond, then they can eat inside the pond and they go from small to big. Mm. Okay. So it's a full cycle, yeah? 800 years. Chicken. 其他文化也曾有在前海潮汐区的捕鱼技术，但这种鱼塘却是世界独有。You don't want to catch everything. You know, if this filled up with fish, a hundred fish, you might eat five. One hundred to two hundred kilograms per hectare per year, and this fish pond is about forty hectares. So. Thousands, yeah. thousands of pounds or thousands of kilos of fish could come out of this fish pond every year. Xiangwei以曾经有四百多个像这样的永续鱼塘，但现在剩不到五十个。当地渔家出身的伊磊决定复兴祖先渔法。Restoring part of our culture, part of our traditional practice. We're relearning the ways of our ancestors. We're contributing to um, the environment. Is a really good way to give back to our ocean resources. Our culture and in our environment and the people. Um, to be Hawaiian, it's you can't remove you can't remove the people from the land. But so many natural disasters yeah. Yeah, these days. Uh, yeah. Okay, now erupted yeah. and the uh, hurricane. Yeah, uh, and it's gonna continue to happen. You know, environment yeah. is responding to that, and that's why we're seeing, you know, more storm events, um, all kinds of fires. There's fires all over the place, you know, and I think it's nature's way of. Of shaking things up and reminding us that that you know, yeah. it's no, it's not only about us. 夏威夷人在山与海之间重新寻找失落的生态均衡，积极打造文化与植物方舟。而一艘解救动物的诺亚方舟也出现了，但它不是船。Knew there was cattle and sheep and dogs and cats stuck out inside the lava. And it's good to be able to be a volunteer and say, okay, we'll we'll be there. Kevin, 原本是美国空军飞行员。Then this actually is one of the ones that we use for the animal rescue. Oh, this one, yes. right? Yes. So the. 吉拉维亚火山爆发时，将近三千位居民都被撤离，但是放牧在这片土地上的动物们却无处可逃。The animals didn't really stand a chance if they just had to stay in that area between the lava. Animals are. They're like the children for some people, and, and even a, a rancher, he appreciates his cattle. Leaving them out there just to die slowly, I don't think is an option. Kevin团队飞越高温岩浆,找寻受困的动物。看到从天而降的网罗，不明就里的牛羊惊慌乱逃，却不知道已经安全脱离岩浆火海。受困的几十头牛羊在凯文的直升机方舟下重获生命。
communities come together. I, I think we always see that natural disasters, and I, and I wonder what it would be like. And that I think that changes humanity as far as people realizing the uh, the pleasure that comes from helping others, and you have a, a self worth, and and it feels good to help others. And I think that's what makes the world come a little bit closer together if we do that. 三个月过去，当时的岩浆已经冷却成为黑色熔岩，但是裂缝还是冒出几百度的高温蒸汽。未知的危险可能随时再来，但生命也重回这片土地。